Hello everyone, welcome to Art Cuisine Kitchen. Today we would like to make a very simple recipe. It's a bean and corn quesadilla. It's specifically we are doing since all the kids are on a spring break and I thought that this way you as a family you can get together and do something easy, kid friendly meal together. I think food is always uh, brings people together and this is going to be a nice opportunity for your children to start cooking. So uh, this is what we are doing. These are the ingredients. We have um, beans and it's already cooked beans and it's uh, we will do two quesadillas for as a portion but you can always increase the portion. So we have half a cup beans and you can use pinto beans, black beans or you can mix the beans together. Then we have uh, corn and we have taco seasoning and uh, cheese blend. That will, it has um, uh, cheddar cheese, jack cheese and a white, white cheddar and orange cheddar. So let's start uh, mixing the ingredients together. So first we will put the corn. Again, I think this is specifically designed for the kids that they can do this on their own. Uh, I tried with my little one and it worked really well. He really enjoyed and liked doing it and I think you just need to supervise them. Uh, beans. And we will put the taco seasoning. So this is around one teaspoon. I'll mix this well. And this is uh, specifically this, um, we're going to do this as a meal kit for a Sunnyvale camp. There is, a, so we are starting to teach at the camp. So I think, I'm hoping that they will like this too. Uh, uh, now, the cheese, like we have here half a cup of the cheese and you can put on half of the tortilla, flour tortilla we're using. So you can put a little bit on the bottom. Because it will help you glue the ingredients and they will not fall off after cooking, during the cooking. Then we're going to put the beans. So you can evenly divide and the specifics where we are uh, we wanted to do something vegetarian because this way if your if your family is following to vegetarian traditions or if you're trying to have vegetarian meal as, or snacks so I think this is a good option healthy good option to have for your kids and family. Okay, so this is easy. I think your kid will be able to do this. And now we will cover with the remaining of the cheese. Then uh, when everything is assembled, there is a, you can choose either to bake or use uh, your pan and slightly uh, fry them on top of the pan. So let's cover this. So you are going to do this as a uh, half, half tortilla this way. Okay. And I will brush with a regular oil. And we'll put this in the pan. So I'm warming this up. And we can start. Okay. I will take the oil here so it's easy for us to work near the pan.
So I don't want to do a lot of oil, so I have non uh, non-stick skillet. And of course, again, I'm repeating myself that you can put this uh, in the oven. Just brush from both sides with the oil and put that in the oven for on 375 uh, degrees for 10 minutes and then uh, turn on another side and then another 10 minutes and it will be done. So I think altogether 20 minutes will be perfect for this. Okay, I'll do this. So we're trying to do with less fat. Okay, here you go. It's slightly we're going to put uh, fry slightly on each side when we see the cheese is melted and all the tortilla is uh, golden color and it's uh, nice and cr uh, crispy on top. Okay. So this. Okay, so now the heat, we're going to lower the heat so we will let it cook and I will cover so it will help not to burn the tortilla and the heat will go through, through and it will uh, melt the cheese. So we will need, I'm assuming, around 10 minutes to cook. And let's see, this is good. The next thing we, uh, we will have uh, different series for cooking for uh, kids friendly meals. So please check with us and uh, we'll, uh, we'll share the plan with, uh, with you. Let me check this. Mm -hmm. needs a little bit more time we will be back in five minutes okay now it's time to turn on the other side our quesadilla because the it's nice and crunchy on the other side on the bottom part so it should be make sure that you have this golden color and it's uh, nice and crunchy and this one we will cook a little bit more. So let's see on both sides. And since uh, the stuffing was a little bit too much for these tortillas, uh, that's why it comes out, but mainly all the stuffing is inside and it worked really well. So I will give uh, two more minutes and I think it, it will be ready for us to try also make sure that everything is cooked and this is always nice to cook before you uh, so you don't cook it in advance just cook and uh, eat right away okay now it's time to check our quesadillas i think it's ready because it smells very good and i could tell that it's uh, cooked through you can see the color and all the cheese is melted that's it let's turn it off and uh, give it uh, after taking from the pan co after cooking give it like one minute just to get together and uh, otherwise when it's first of all too hot and the flavors uh, need to stay just uh, maybe one minute together until it's uh, it cools down so you don't uh, so it doesn't fall apart Okay, so uh, quesadillas are ready. Please enjoy. It's nice and delicious. Bon appetit. <laughs> 